Welcome to Spectrum Health TV. I'm joined by Dr. Tammy Cruiser, Medical Director of Breast MRI at Spectrum Health. Welcome, Dr. Cruiser. Thank you. First question I have for you is what is breast MRI? When we image the breasts with MRI, we inject dye through an IV and we have a specialized breast equipment that is added to the MRI. We view the images on dedicated computer software and we're looking for tumors in the breast that take up that dye uh, differently than normal breast tissue. And when is it used? We use it for high-risk screening, so we don't screen everybody with breast MRI, but in 2007, the American Cancer Society recommended that we screen annually patients at high risk um, with breast MRI, so that was a pretty big change, and it's predominantly patients with a known or suspected genetic risk. We also use it to problem solve if there's an abnormal mammogram and we're still not quite sure what's going on or for a breast lump in some situations, and we also stage patients with a known breast cancer before they go for their surgical treatment. And what are the benefits to the patient? It's a very sensitive test, so it detects breast cancer very early in high-risk patients. Um, it's not limited by dense breast tissue as the mammogram often is, and it adds one more screening tool to the regimen to use in those high-risk patients. We also use it to um, stage patients who have a new diagnosis of breast cancer before they go to surgery for their surgical treatment and make sure that we have that we're aware of the full extent of the disease so that when the tumor is removed it's completely removed and the remaining breast tissue is free of tumor in patients who are electing not to have that breast entirely removed or a mastectomy. And I understand Spectrum Health was one of the first in the state to offer MRI guided needle biopsy. Can you explain what that is? Frequently, there's a finding on the MRI that's suspicious that we can only see on MRI. So with the conventional imaging, the breast ultrasound and mammography, even when targeted to that specific area of the breast, we sometimes don't find the abnormality. So if we do, we would go ahead and biopsy it in the more conventional ways. But when we can't and we only see it on the MRI, we have to have a way to get that tissue and determine whether it's malignant or not. So we use the MRI to do a guided needle biopsy to that specific area of the breast. Well, it's good to know that we offer this advanced technology at Spectrum Health. Yes, we have um, very comprehensive breast care at Spectrum Health. Well, this is comforting information for our patients. Thank you for being here, Dr. Cruiser. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Spectrum Health TV.